la 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 What is up YouTube? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I'm back for a Q&A part 2. I felt like my first one really went through a lot of questions about my relationship and my boyfriend and I didn't really dive into the questions about myself because there weren't a lot. But I feel like you guys really haven't got to know me very well and there's a lot that you might want to know. So I took to Instagram and asked what you would like to know about me and for you guys to send me some questions and I have them here so we're just gonna go through them I, I planned on vlogging yesterday my sister had came into town and I planned on doing a video with her while she was here and I totally failed we uh, went on the boat didn't vlog that <laughs> and then we were gonna go to um, this place, this movie set that me and Clever had gone to for like a little surprise date one time. To meet my mom because it's kind of a halfway point from Mobile to Gadsden for her to pick my sister up. But it was flooded and we weren't able to go so then I didn't vlog that. So I figured... You know what, we'll just do a Q&A part two and you guys can get to know me a little bit better. Hey baby. Okay, sorry about that. I have no idea what I was saying, so we're just gonna jump into the questions. Let me first say that if I'm like talking slow or catching my breath, my allergies have been hell. I don't have the thing um but i just i've been having like serious allergy issues so i'm going through it and that's what that is okay so i have these questions pulled up and i'm gonna go ahead and preface by saying that i'm not gonna answer all of them because a lot of them are very personal and things that i'm not comfortable with sharing these q a's for me are just fun because you can get to know me a little bit better and like fun little things about me and we can just kind of chat but as far as like really personal aspects of my life, I'm, I'm kind of a private person, so I don't think that I'm going to ever open up about certain things. We, you know, we already kind of share a huge portion of our life, so um, I kind of want to keep a little bit of that to just us. Alright. Let's see. What are you and Clever binging at the moment? Ugh, nothing. <laughs> We finished Ozark. That was what we were binging. We love Ozark, but right now, nothing. Um, I I watched Tiger King. He wasn't super into it. I enjoyed it, but for me, it was more of a show that I would like put on in the background and kind of listen to. Uh, my attention span sucks, so if I'm not like super into it, then it's kind of just background noise. So if you have any suggestion of a show for us to binge, let me know. All right. Would you ever make an OnlyFans account? No, not for me. Uh, for the people who are doing it, you know, no shade towards them. I think it takes a certain level of confidence, and that's great. But for me, it's just not something that I'm interested in doing. Do you want kids? Absolutely. I I never knew that I wanted kids. It was never a thought in my mind at all until I got with Clever and now I'm like, oh, I want a kid so bad with him. He's just such a good dad. And uh, I guess seeing that part of him, like, turned it on in me. I think I, I have this maternal instinct deep down in me and it's really came out and now I like have such baby fever. So yes, I do want kids. A lot of people ask like, when? Um, you know, just when the time is right. We're building a house. So I'd like to be married, I'd like to be moved into that house and maybe at least like one tour for him behind us and then I think that that'll be a good time. Favorite artist other than Clever, of course. Of course, other than Clever, because obviously. But uh, Lil Peep, if you know me at all or if you follow me on Instagram, you probably know I'm a huge Lil Peep fan. I have a Lil Peep tattoo right here on my rib cage. I love Lil Peep. I know every song. 
Uh, and Billie Eilish. I'm a huge Billie Eilish fan as well. I think she's super talented. I love her style. I just, I think she's so dope. Where do you work? So, I actually don't work. I haven't worked since July of 2019. But before that, I worked at a bank for two years as a bank teller. Before the bank, I did some retail management. PacSun, Ann Taylor Loft, Zoomies, multiple places. And then in between those... I uh, was a server at restaurants, so I've done a lot all over the place, but it just kind of didn't make sense when me and Clever got together. It kind of worked out, me not working, because he he pretty much told me, like, I kind of would like for it to be where you can just get up and go when I get up and go, and you don't have to worry about anything, like, I'll take care of you, you just be there for me, you know, you be my rock, and you keep me company, and and we're good. What are some of your goals and aspirations? To be a wife, to be a mother, to grow this YouTube channel. I wanted something that was my own little project that I could dedicate time to and just enjoy for fun. And that's what this is. I really enjoy it. I love the editing aspect of it. So my goals are to get more, and com more comfortable in front of the camera and more natural because that's a struggle really and then to work on my editing even more because I love it and I'm kind of proud of where I'm at with it so I'd like to get even better at that those are some goals of mine as simple as they may sound what are some of your bad habits if you have any well of course I do have bad habits I think everyone has bad habits but mine aren't your typical ones I guess I don't like smoke cigarettes or uh, I don't know, I like eat junk food like crazy or anything like that. But I think that mine are more, I overthink really bad. I create these negative scenarios in my head. Um, and then like I trigger my own anxiety. So stuff like that. It's so dumb. If you could learn a new skill overnight, what would it be? I would love to like learn languages and be multilingual. We are working on learning German, but we're taking it a little too slow right now <laughs> we could be doing better we were doing great in the beginning but um, if you would consider that a new skill then that for sure any new tattoo ideas absolutely so this will be another peep tattoo but I want crybaby on my wrist right here in that same font that he has it on his face I want a butterfly tattoo somewhere on my body. I just really love butterflies. And then I'd like to get Joshua in my hairline right here. How old are you? I am 25. I'll be 26 on June 4th. What's something you're not happy with and what makes you the happiest? Something I'm not happy with is, number one, this quarantine and being stuck at home. Also, to not have any friends around me, that's kind of hard. I miss my sister, I miss my friend Hannah, so that's something that is hard. I'm not the type that is always surrounded by like a ton of friends, but I just have like a couple really close friends and I kind of prefer it that way. So then that ends up with me like not really opening up to make new friends and it's just a struggle. But what makes me the happiest is being around my boyfriend, being around my family, and friends, and traveling, and just doing new fun things, seeing, um, seeing Clever work, like seeing him on stage, or in the studio, it's really fun. How tall are you? I am 5 foot 4 inches. You and Clever should have 20 kids. If you guys ever break up, I will die. <laughs> Same. 20 kids though, maybe not. Maybe like 1, 2, 3-ish. Somewhere in there. We say just one, but who knows. So a lot of people are asking how to be in Clever Meet, where was our first date? I answered all those questions with him in a relationship video. So go watch that and we really dive into all of that, our whole story. I have been like insert little clips of it, so it's really cute. Are you insecure about something? Yeah, for sure. I struggle with insecurities just like everyone else in the world does, I'm sure. I think that we all go through it and it just depends on how you react to it and what you do with it. I used to let those feelings get to me really bad, but now I've learned that they'll pass um, if you don't dwell on them and it's, you know, it's just something that you have to deal with and push through and remember that we all deal with it. Where do you get your nails done here in Gadsden? 
I get my nails done at Adventure Nails by Connor. I was going to the mall to get my nails done because I didn't know where to go and I wasn't super happy with that so I asked for suggestions and everyone suggested Adventure Nails and I'm so happy with them. So I go there and Connor specifically is just great. When are you coming back to Mobile? Um, this is actually from my friend Lindsay and she said when are you coming back to Mobile to see me? <laughs> I, I don't know when I'm coming back to Mobile. I'd like to come back and visit and see my family and see some friends and just kind of chill there. But uh, it's kind of hard right now with all of the stuff going on. So hopefully soon, maybe within the next few months. I was there in February for Mardi Gras and actually got really, really sick. Like had a horrible upper respiratory, respiratory infection. <laughs> So, uh, but yeah, I, I definitely want to visit Mobile soon. What is your all-time favorite thing to do when you're bored? Also, what is your favorite meal to eat? My favorite thing to do when I'm bored is either get a workout in because I always end up feeling really good after. Like if I work up a sweat and get my blood pumping, I always feel so accomplished and good about it afterward and I'm like in a really good mood. So making myself <laughs> work out or um, like cleaning up my house. I know that that sounds kind of boring, but it is what I enjoy doing just because both of those things are something that before I start it, I might not be super excited about doing, but once I've done it, I feel really good. So, and they help pass time when you're bored. Oh, and my favorite meal, man, I don't know, anything cheesy, mozzarella sticks, Alfredo, pizza. <laughs> I love broccoli. I don't know my favorite meal. That's really hard. Just like carbs, you know. Do you guys want a boy or a girl? I don't think we have a preference. I don't know. I mean, I, I kind of want a girl, but I'd be just as happy with a boy. We have names picked out for both, and I'm not going to tell you those names, but I'll tell you they both start with a P. <laughs> I'll give you that. What's your favorite makeup product or skincare product? My favorite makeup product currently... The Iconic um, Illuminating Drops, I really love those. The Becca 24-Hour Foundation, the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. Um, hmm. Yeah. Skincare slash makeup routine. You're beyond gorgeous. Love you guys. Thank you so much. Love you. I've thought about doing a skincare and makeup routine video, but I don't know if that's something that y'all would really be interested in watching or if that would be boring. So if that is something that y'all want, just let me know because I can do that for sure. Do you go to college for what? You are so beautiful too. Well, thank you so much. I don't go to college. I did go to college for a little while, but no, I'm not currently in college and I don't think that I'm going to go back. Not a question, but I'm from Gadsden and work in the mall and you're so pretty. Thank you so much. I really appreciate these sweet comments. They mean so much to me. Um, I miss the Gadsden Mall. I need it to open. That's what I do for fun is go to the mall around here. So I really need it to open. When is your house going to be built? I think that we're probably aiming for like, well, we're aiming for as soon as possible. But I guess maybe a year is realistic. I, I really don't know. I don't know enough about it. I know that right now the land that we're building on was covered in pine trees that were like really weak and falling down and we um, were getting them all cut down. They're almost done with that. Then we have to get the stumps grinded. Then we're going to put up a fence around it to keep people out while we're building. Then because of the layout that we want to do, we might have to do the pool first and then build the house around it. So it's a process, but we've got it all planned out. Um, it's just one step at a time. So soon as possible. <laughs> Do you call your man clever or Josh? <laughs> a lot of people ask this. Um, it just depends. I don't know. I call him both. I call him baby <laughs> or other stuff. All right. And I think I answered all the questions that I was down to answer. I hope that this wasn't boring. I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm going to include a little minute or so of some studio time for a song that will be coming out soon, but I can't play any of the song or tell you any details, so I can just show you little clips from in the studio, so I'm going to do that because I know that y'all enjoy stuff like that, 
and stay tuned. I think my next video will probably be a vlog because I feel like me just sitting in front of the camera and talking is a little bit boring. But yeah, I hope that you enjoyed it anyway. I hope everyone is staying safe during this crazy time. We've never had to live through anything like this. This is new to everyone and it's so freaking weird, but it's going to pass soon. So hopefully. Um, so yeah, just stay safe, wash your hands, and thanks for watching. Try not to get the sound. I don't like the sound wobbly. Don't like no wobbles, mate. <laughs>